and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a reflection text effect. Let's create a simple text first. You can press T for that or click on the A symbol. If you want to size it up, hold control, that keeps the proportions and doesn't stretch the font. When the A is activated, you can choose a different font if you wish. I would definitely suggest to use a bold font so don't make it too thin. The effect looks better that way. Make sure it's selected and right click and duplicate or you can press Ctrl D. So we've got two now. Then go to object and flip vertical. So the one that we've just duplicated is flipped. You can see that here. When you drag it down, hold Ctrl. That way it kind of snaps in this vertical line. And I use the arrow keys a little bit upwards. That should be a good point. Only select the bottom part and then click on the symbol which is for creating gradients or you can just press the G key. We want to have a linear gradient and it should be applied to the fill. So make sure that it's selected. Then simply click and drag downwards. I hold control when I do that. That way the gradient snaps in a vertical line and we've got this perfect line when it comes to the gradient. You can also give it an angle. But in this case, I want to have this perfect vertical gradient. You can always go back to it, select it, click on the gradient tool and then readjust it if you want to. Something like that should be fine. You can now select it both, then go to object and group it. And now if you click on it again, you can rotate it or skew it a little bit. And you can now export it like any object. And this is how you can create this reflection text effect in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.